Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I have missed you way more than you have missed me, I promise. I, um, I had to do Wednesdays, I think Monday, I had to do Tuesday and Wednesday ahead of time because I had to, um, I wanted to go see my little, my cousin's little daughter sing in the choir. So I went and I, it was a very, Tuesday was really hectic and really crazy busy and I had a lot to do, so. Um, be right before I hit record on my laptop, I heard, oh shit, hold on, I heard, I like you the best, better than all the rest. It's that door song. Which song is that? Is that Indian Summer? Better than. I like you the best, better than the rest. That's the lyric. Right before I hit record. Um, okay, so this is the daily reading for Thursday. Oh, geez, I don't even know what day I'm in. June 13th. Now, keep in mind that time spirals. Oh, is that Missy G that said I was fingering the air? I love it. You're lucky I don't do this. Um, so, what did I just say? Thursday, June, whatever I just said, and I'm sorry I have this coming out the day of and not the night of. I went down for a 45-minute nap, went down to take a nap for 45 minutes, and I woke up five hours later. Then I couldn't go to sleep. I didn't want to start watching a movie, so I started reading the screenplay of the movie I wanted to watch. We'll see if that comes up. Oh, shoot. I don't have my list of downloads. We'll see if I can do it from memory. We'll see if I'm prompted with the cards for it to come up in memory. Um, so, right, so time spirals, goes like this. And what that means for energy is that you and I can connect through space and time through this video. So if you're used to thinking of your timeline as you're, you're born, you're moving forward, then you die. Not quite. It's like this. Okay, that's why... Oh, I was, I saw something I was not supposed to see on Tuesday. Tuesday was really, really hectic for me, but also for, oh yeah, that's another thing about the Divine Masculine. Um, so Tuesday, someone was like either having a panic attack, reunion, third party situation, having a panic attack or just getting super nervous. I mean, I felt the sensation of being on the plane, the merry-go-round, like something's happening that I can't really control or, you know, just like something big happening. The hermit. Isolation, enlightenment, having the light to shine forward. And I didn't, all I could do was to assuage, ooh, mm -hmm. someone transforming personal pain into abundance. Hold on, I'm gonna put this here, here, here. And so what I'm think and so all I could do was send in response to that energy. Ooh, fantasies or illusions. Castles in the air. And and I'm pretty sure it was the divine masculine. And because Wednesday I was completely either depleted energetically where I couldn't tap in, or I was being kept out on purpose. I know, right? So I just went with it. I mean, rem remember, boundaries are super important. We respect boundaries on the Watch Natalie channel. So, I mean, I'm not going to try and get into that energy unless it's coming up and unless it's the higher self of a divine masculine or the divine masculines and their spirit guides that are communicating with me. Then if someone's feeling like the boundaries are being crossed energetically with this psychic, chappy, then send me an email because I don't, I don't know what else to tell you because it's in the 3D, it might make someone uncomfortable, this, this closeness or this connection, but in the 5D and above, it's like trying to bring this human into enlightenment, into understanding. So... I'm not going to tell you what I saw on Tuesday. But yeah, someone Tuesday was a big day for someone. It could be feminine as well. Take it as it resonates. Blur the signs, the ages, and the genders. It's just straight energy we're talking here. Because on Tuesday, it was just very... Um, 
sort of like anxiety attack. I mean, it feels like you're dying, right? Isn't that what that is? Like when you feel like, oh, what is this? It's, it could be like a big decision that's being made or that was made or just like getting on the roller coaster and ready to just go over the, the scary part. But yeah, that's, that's what Tuesday was. And I got the last significant, super significant download Tuesday. Wednesday, a couple things came up, but like I said. So here we have, and remember, this could be celebration. This could be a party. This could be parties. It could also be a third party situation. You, someone else, and someone else. Someone else, someone else, someone else. You and someone else. You know what I'm saying? So it could be that this is something that has to end, or it could just setting be setting the stage. But the first card of that comes out, I always give incredible significance to. It's almost like a bottom of the deck card for me. It just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the reading. I'll always refer back to that first card. So there is something here, and I'm kind of wondering if it needs to end the third party situation, because after that we got the hermit, and the hermit is someone who's gonna go alone, go somewhere alone, be alone, feels alone, in order to process, in order to really think and really like, not strategize, but just to make some sense out of their suffering, to make some sense out of their pain, to make some sense out of their unhappiness or misery or disappointment. Any Anything negative going on, they're going to pull their energy back and go and be alone. Someone needs to be alone in privacy to figure this out, to really, really get a grip on it, to really make up their mind of what they think and how they feel about it moving forward. And they don't want to come back down off the mountain until they do know, until they have the enlightened truth. The hermit is about, see how he's holding the lantern and that five-pointed star is shining forth from it? I actually have my lantern here. I just, anyway, so he needs, he or she needs to do this about, look, another three, another three, three of swords, three of cups. So third party, I'm really thinking that, I'm really thinking it could be you and another person and another person between yous not love right away. This doesn't have to be, I mean, obviously this heart makes it look like it's, a, but take it as it resonates. It could also be any kind of significant partnership that you want to have a more direct line of communication with, but someone else is coming in between you and them. So either way, whether this is a third person coming in, confusing this person, either you or someone else, or if this is someone that has to make sense and heal and resolve a past heartbreak, a past disappointment, a past <sighs> failing of a relationship, they're doing it. This I feel like these two cards came up before for us. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, hold on. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the best, one of my most favoritest cards ever. If you can look, this is the person who has everything. They have, they have absolutely everything. They have the Pentacles. Pentacles. Okay. They have companionship, these little dogs. They have their mansion, this beautiful decorated archway and these buildings and that building that he owns all of it. He has art, look at this little, not tapestry, but it's like a tiled mosaic piece of art on the wall, right? He has progeny. <gasps> I never noticed that before. I never saw that before. Look at, these are his kids and look at, look at this little person. Look at that little baby. <gasps> I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before in this card. That's incredible. He has grand, it's his grandbaby. It's his baby's baby. Oh my God. It's his baby's, and he's looking at the baby. That's what he's looking at. He's looking at the little, look at the eye line. Look at this. Look at his, that's his little eye going like this. And before I have said that this is the perspective of his wife. This is, 
the godmother. This is the grandmother looking at her husband, their children, their children's children, their wealth, their health, their happiness. <sighs> Yeah, this is like the everything card. One of my everything cards. Because it really has everything in one icon. It has, and this is long-term happiness. This is for the future of forever. These are big seismic changes happening in life right now. And they lead to this lifestyle. They lead to this normal. This is normal. So this is something in transition. This is a developing situation. So... Whatever stands out to you about this, whether it's the pentacles or the progeny or the companionship or just the security, whatever it is, it's a long-term situation that's developing. Okay. And then the card after that was the seven of cups. So the seven of cups, this is a man in shadow and he's looking at all of these cups just in the fog, in the clouds. One has beauty. One has who he, a veiled woman. One is a real castle. One is the dragon of ambition. One is the serpent of desire. One is this wreath of glory. And the last one is jewels and wealth and money. Okay. And they're looking at it and they're like, oh, which one do I want? Oh, which one do I pick? Which one, which one, which one? Which one? Oh, there's so many. I want all of them. I want every single cup. And I just want to grab it out of the air and just like, you know, slurp that shit up. And so it could be fantasizing. It could be fantasizing about all of these things. It could be wishing. It could be, but there's something happening in the imagination here where you are, it's like you can even be fantasizing about your love and your wealth and your health and the progeny, you can, the castle. You, know, you can be fantasizing about all of it. Be aware for some, remember this reading could be for one person or for everyone or for a small group and you could relate or resonate with one part of this reading or the whole entire thing. So take it as it resonates. And if you don't like something that I'm saying, just assume that I'm wrong. And you have my to to go forth and and you know okay so the warning is that this could be delusion this could be castles in the air and not able to put them on the ground however I just said that as like a little disclaimer I feel like because we have this right before it I feel like it is going to be the castle hitting the ground or you know the wish fulfillment coming into 3d manifestation the pentacles are hard it's something i can touch something i can taste in my mouth it's something that i can count on for the long term and so 10 of pentacles 10 years or more it's it's it takes a long time to mature but when it's ready it lasts forever how long does it take to make a Toyota versus how long does it take to make a Mercedes Benz? Isn't it? That's an Instagram thing. I didn't come up with that. But isn't it like six weeks to make a Toyota, six months to make a Mercedes Benz it's, or some other expensive luxury car, whatever. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, so someone's getting through this. And they're, it's like, and look at the two different mental, emotional spaces this is in. So on one hand, they are healing. They are really healing their hearts of the past pain, transforming that pain and suffering into meaning and wisdom. And then it's, it's, and they're able to kind of imagine and fuel the future, past, future, past, future. So they're coming along. Let's see if there's anything more. I'll just, just what's, what's the next message? Let's just see what the next message is. I'm not going to try to ask any questions, get super fancy. Ooh, wish fulfillment, nine of cups. This is complete self-satisfaction here. Look at this little dude. He is just like sitting in the back with a distinctive hat. And his arms are crossed and his face is just, 
<laughs> Sydney Green Street again. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Look at him. What is he? I like talking with a man who likes to talk. <laughs> It's a really old reference. I don't think any of you are going to get that. It's okay. Point of the matter is that he's very self-satisfied. He has all the cups behind him. All of them. Self, this is getting what you want. This is wish fulfillment. This is having everything that you want. So it's almost like this person has a lot. It's like he has nine cups and he's waiting for the tenth. It's though he's almost there and he's just, there's one more thing or there's one little last piece of the puzzle because he's already a person of means or of wealth or has a good attitude or, you know, something that, something he's already very, or he's just something, there's something very self-satisfied about him. You were the other person. Or he's not judging himself or he's, he's actually being patient with himself because... Part of Tuesday's energy that I was like downloading was it actually felt like taking a huge leap of faith. It felt like saying yes to something or committing to something. And even though you're like, you know it, it just still felt scary. It just still felt like, oh. I mean, it was very exciting, but it was just very, like I could feel that stress or something. So it's like, Someone is now, there's some self-satisfaction here. And I think it's that. I think it's the, maybe like a confirmation. Confirmation, maybe. Confirmation. Maybe this third-party situation will come up. Ooh. Nothing. Quiet cards. Quiet cards today for Thursday. Oh, did you see that? <sighs> Hold on. Jesus. Damn it. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Oh, they made me get all the way up. Am I still plugged in? They made me get all the way up for this. What does that mean, everyone? That in order to achieve everything you want in life, you have to get up off your ass. <laughs> that wasn't me either. That's um, a view from the top. Mike Myers says that. He tapes a dollar bill under the seat for his flight attendant class, and he has everyone get up and look and tape it off, take the, from under the seat. And then he says that, he says, what did, what did we learn today? The first thing is that in order to make a buck, you have to get off your ass. Anyway, okay. <laughs> they really made me work for it. Look, 10 of cups, we, right after the nine of cups, right after the nine of cups, someone has found it or identified it. They've zeroed in on the last cup that will complete their 10 of cups happiness. They found their 10th cup. They found their 10th cup. Look at the, I can't, you cannot make it up. Cannot, this is, this is what it is. 10 of cups. This is the perfect happiness card. This is every, oh my God, I cannot believe this. 10, 10, this came up, these two cards came up together a while ago, weeks ago, I want to say. I do not remember what, what reading it was, but they came up together because I remember talking about this. I remember talking about, this is when they first get together and they start their family, and this is 50 years later. These children are now these adults, and this little baby is one of these little babies, baby. Oh my God. So yeah, completion. Completion of a cycle, completion of an emotional cycle. The 10 of cu cups are emotions, it's relationships. castles castles look at the house look at their little <laughs> this is like their starter house and now they have an estate 
I love the way that sounds, obviously. Look at their little starter house, and now they have an estate. Mansionary estate. They have an estate with multiple buildings. Look at They're in one building looking out at another building, looking out at an another building. It's They just grow together. From here, when they first get together... It just, they grow, they grow together, they grow their family, they grow their wealth, they grow their health, and it turns into a longevity of security. It turns into, this is like a foundation for this. Only on a good foundation can something like this even happen. You know, without any kind of weaknesses in the, you don't want any cracks in the foundation. No cracks. No. Then you don't get this. Then you have divorce. Then you have abuse. Then you have mistrust. Then you have suing. Then you have, you know, ugly, ugly, ugly battles. And, and this is supposed to be protection, okay? The protection of a family from the outside world. When you go home, that's when you're supposed to be able to be exactly who you are. Completely vulnerable. Gomez. We're coming back to Gomez. When Gomez leaves the house to do business, do you think he's like he is with Morticia? No. He is stone cold. It's a whole different veneer. It's a whole different persona. It's a whole different attitude. Completely different way of relating. When he's with his family, when he's playing with Wednesday and Pugsley with the train set or with Uncle Fester, his brother, or um, with Granny. What, it's, he's different. He's completely different. So this is like, you, they're able, these people are able to recharge their batteries at home. They're able to, it's a sanctuary. And when you have a foundation that's a sanctuary, it's fertile for everyone's personality to thrive, for everyone's wealth to multiply. Everyone in the family benefits when there is peace and serenity and trust, good humor, good faith, faith in each other, benefit of the doubt, patience, understanding. There's no sense of like control and, you know, those low vibrational things. This is a very solid foundation. This is a very solid commitment. This is a very solid union. So some of you marrieds are watching me and this is what it is. You guys are having a great, you guys are having a great marriage. It's really nice. So that's right. This one was someone taking a picture of them. I just saw it like, you know, when you screenshot on your phone, it goes white, like a, I just saw that with this, <laughs> like just right now, it just like, as if I took a screenshot of it, it's like, so, but it's like the flash. There's some, there's something about taking, it's like if someone were behind this family at the barbecue, observing them in a moment of bliss and took a picture of it. And they have their backs turned to the camera. And they are just like enjoying their life. Like nothing will, nothing will disturb their sanctuary. Even if someone is taking a picture behind them. The kids are still dancing. The parents are still manifesting. And in this one, it could be... <laughs> now I really want to say the godmother because of this little baby that I never noticed before. Um, the grandmother. <laughs> I love Halle Berry and Tom Hanks in Cloud Atlas at the very end where she goes up to him just like this I feel like and she goes up to him and she goes let me warm those old bones it's so cute it's it's really endearing but it's like this I look at this icon and it's like you come up it's like she has a tray of lemonade not like maybe she's not bringing the lemonade maybe she's just bringing him a book maybe she's bringing him I don't know, something. And she's looking out at it, at this scene, and it's like her moment of reflection. It's her moment of appreciation. You know when you go through your life and you just see a scene in front of you and you, and you have a thought about it, you have an insight or an epiphany about it. 
So it's like she's coming up to her husband and his and their children and their little grandbaby and and she just has like that moment of oh we did it right. We did it. Oh, I heard something Wednesday. We'll find our rhythm. We'll find a rhythm. I don't know if it was we'll find our rhythm or we'll find a rhythm. The the words were rolled. We'll find a rhythm. Like someone wasn't enunciating. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Whoa, man. So someone's getting their 10th cup. Someone's getting their 10 of cups happiness. 10 of cups your life, okay? It's like, you know what it feels like? It feels like someone's waiting to fill their own cup, so to speak, before... Because let me show you two things. Number one... I feel like this is a third party situation and maybe we'll get more into it later, but it feels like because they're fantasizing about the longevity, they have not, they have not started this yet. They have not started this yet, unless you're married and you guys really are into it. But the feeling I'm getting is that someone already is really close. Like maybe they have wealth and companionship but they don't have like the soulmate or maybe they have the soulmate, but not the money coming in yet. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or it's, there's something like kind of missing about it or maybe, you know, just take it as it resonates, but it's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, they don't have it yet. It's like they only have wealth. What's that quote? Some people are so poor, all they have is money. Someone only has the money part and they don't have the progeny. This, I think this is someone unmarried with no kids. Yeah, look, he's alone. He's sitting there alone. There is no one else in this picture with him. And in this pictogram, we have people. We have his people. He gets people. He gets his own people. You need your own people. Why do I keep saying that? Something about having your own people getting your own people, keeping your own people, making your own people. He needs to make his tribe. He needs to make his people. Does that sound weird? It is weird, but it's the truth. Because you're literally making your tribe. You, you, you get a partner and you guys create babies and it's the whole... Anyway, okay. So what I'm trying to say though is because there is fantasizing going on because this is a single, a solar, singular person fantasizing about creating this kind of wealth and longevity with a counterpart. They are healing whatever their hangups are, whatever the obstacles are, whatever they're, they're doing that, they're working through their own pain. It hasn't happened yet. And I'm thinking that, when, when, when was that when I said they'll come, they'll, they'll come up or they'll, things will move forward when they're like 70, 75% full. Because Gomez was, he has his family, his family wealth or his own wealth, his own business, his own money, his own you know, he had his rabble rousing days as a, you know, a ladies man, lady killer, acquitted. But it really wasn't complete until he met Morticia. Until he got with Morticia. Then she, it, they, shit just went up. She, okay, then it was like a big, it just was that seismic, platonic shift in his life when he and Morticia really came together. Sorry. So anyway, so this he's this is still in the process. You or the other person is still really needing to close everything out because they don't want to come up. They don't want to come in. Hold on. It's like they don't want to come in 
like damaged goods. I hate to say that, but that's the only thing that's coming up. They're going to want to present as very confident, very charismatic, very put together, very, they're not going to want to come up with baggage as a victim, hurt. They're, they're not going to want to lead with that for sure. And they're not going to want anyone to really see that or know that or like have that come up between you and them. But let me get this three of cups. Can I have a clarification on this three of cups? That's what I really want to know. I want to know if that's really the celebration or if it's the third party situation. I knew that was coming up. God damn it. Hold on. I'm going to try to not get up. Hold on. Okay, I got it. The Ace of Cups. The Holy Grail of relationships. The whole, okay, that's what it is. It's not, it might not be third party. This is probably them celebrating that they found the Holy Grail of relationships to complete their Ten of Cups life. Holy Grail. My cup runneth over. The cup run. Look at it, it never stops. It never stops. It comes forth out of nowhere and never, ever, ever stops. This is this, whoever this is, you could be, I, I could be talking directly to you. I could be talking to the cross watcher. So take it as it resonates and just go with me here. So whoever this is, they rejuvenate. They give life to this person. Morticia, when she is listening to Gomez, when, he, oh, hold on. Hold on, everybody, because I took a screenshot at, like, I don't know, very late last night because I was just very into it. Give me a second. Page three. Let me put this up more so you can really see it. Page three, gazing at Morticia. Look at her. I would die for her. I would kill for her. Either way, what bliss. Oh, how do I do this now? Dang it. Hold on. Maybe I need to put the vault. Maybe, maybe to, hold on. Let me just try to figure this out. Oh, that's so... You can see my Michaels email. <laughs> I'm huge on the craft store, everything. I get emails from Michaels and Joanne Fabrics every single day. If I go on the shopping spree, my dream shopping spree, it's at the craft store. Okay, the whole point is that Morticia fills his cup. Morticia is the holy grail for Gomez. Gomez on the outside has to be this fucking stone cold businessman. There are no blurred boundaries. Remember, mm, has to be a stone cold businessman. Home. He can be who he really is. He can go through the torment. He can go through emotional upheaval. He can go through hell and back. Oh, that's what she says. She says, last night you were unhinged. You were like a desperate howling demon. You frightened me. Do it again. Okay? She, she, she's a match. She, she compliments him perfectly. This is someone who fills another person's cup. They don't drain them of everything. They don't drain them of their life force. They give them life force. They give them life. They give them energy. Whereas everyone else... And the outside world, in business, friendships, family, like extended family, you know, lose your brother that's always asking for money every time he sees him, trampy little sister who's always gotten a bad, who's always in some dramatic relationship, always asking for money. All these other people are always draining this Gomez character, this person. But someone, the counterpart, gives them energy gives to them, gives them life, gives them focus, gives them every, and you know what? That's another thing I forgot to say. So y last night when I, I could not go back to sleep after that 45 minute turned five hour nap. And then my mind was just, 
racing. It's just someone in this situation, you or the other person has to, it's, their mind is very undisciplined. It's the monkey mind. So the tree branches are thoughts and the monkey is attention. And so think of the monkey swinging from branch to branch in the forest, not knowing which branch he's going to, he just swings and a branch will appear and he'll grab it. And then he swings and he reaches and there's a branch that he finds and he grabs it and he swings and he keeps doing that. And he doesn't know what branch he's going to grab onto. He just trusts that there will be one there. And that's the thought process. That's, that's someone's thoughts right now that they're just like going through all these different thoughts. And it was really overwhelming for me. I had to really work Hard. And that's why I'm so happy that I'm doing this reading because in order to do these readings, I have to do a lot of energy work and other things that are very secret. But it puts me in a place where I'm not like that. So on Tuesday, I worked really hard at responding to that really anxious, almost really worried, that, that anxiety or panic attack energy. I responded to it with calm. I tried to send something in return to, I tried to um, like delete it and get rid of it energetically because energy is not created or destroyed. It's only changing. So I transmuted that energy that I was getting, like they were sending it to me. Not that they were sending it to me, but I could just tap into it. So I transmuted it into something else. And then I sent back some calmer healing energy in its place. So last night and today and everything, someone's like just mentally, and it's not that they're overburdened or that it's overwhelming of information. It's not like it's, there's something that's too much to handle. It's just, there's a lot to think about. That's really what I'm getting from it. There really is a lot to think about with something. So, so they're thinking about it. So they're really, really, oh my God, 37 minutes. We're wrapping this up. Okay. What's the bottom of the deck card? Oh, page of pentacles, page of pentacles. So someone's, these are the nuts and bolts. This is the organizational, um, the organizational part of manifesting the 10 of cups, nine of cups. So someone, oh, that's, oh, that's hilarious. What was I just talking about? There's a lot to think about. So there's a lot that this person is thinking about in regards to all of this, every single part, every single part, they are figuring out how it's going to work, how it's going to work in the real world because they're fantasizing about it. They're daydreaming about it and they have to bring it into manifestation. They have to make it concrete. And so they're just trying to like figure that out too. God, that's a lot of organizing. Okay, guys, I am going to catch up on videos and readings that you guys are asking of me. So I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.